Hello, yes, time is not on our side, part two. I thought I'd add to yesterday's video, time is not on our side. Let's take Defend Europe. Yes, I've talked about these before. The Identitarian Movement, calling themselves Identitarians, like uh, the uh, crew off the Starship Enterprise, that's what it sounds like. They've uh, crowdfunded, bought this ship, Sea Star, something like 56,000 dollars, pounds, whatever, maybe even more, let me know. Uh, they bought this ship, they're sailing around the Mediterranean like Captain Pugwash, trying to stop the uh, migrants crossing from Africa across the Med into Europe. It's just an impossibility, it cannot be done, it's impossible. If you had a flotilla of ships, you still couldn't do it. And according to Defend Europe Facebook page, uh, they quote the German security service, there's a 6.6 .6 million on the way, or waiting to come to Europe. How is that one ship stopping 6.6 .6 million? It's not, it's, it's not stopping 600, let alone 6.6 .6 million. It's fantasy and it's just money down the med, literally, right? And our enemies, hope not hate, you see they're attacking it too much. They know it's a dead end project, yet they're attacking it too much, aren't they? And it's very telling that. And don't be fooled by the, the closing of Patreon accounts by Lawrence Southern and whoever else. It's all part of the scam, it's all part of the act. I uh, hope not hate, Searchlight Magazine, whoever. They have a history of attacking its spies to give them cover. That's the purpose of it. They attack them to give them cover. But we are wasting more time, you see, with these enemy-led and controlled groups. That I was now sailing round the Mediterranean like a sailor, Captain Pugwash, achieving zilch. Or marching up and down the high street with Tommy Robinson. Tommy Robinson's got a new book coming out. Why Muslims kill for Islam. The public's not interested. Like with Defend Europe, like with Tommy Robinson's book and like with Raheem Kassam. It just bounces round the same circles, doesn't it? It doesn't break out and reach the millions of people that we need to. Defend Europe. Who's applauding Defend Europe? Not the millions of people around Europe or Britain or wherever are they? No, it's just those within the movement. So it doesn't break out, does it? It just stays within the little blade pen, wasting more time that we don't have. Oh, and wasting valuable money we certainly haven't got. You see, our enemies know time is against us. The third world influx into our beloved Great Britain is at an unprecedented rate now. We're sinking quicker than the uh, Titanic did, right? And also as well, there's 250,000 white people leaving this country every year. People aren't having children anymore. Young people in particular are party goers and hedonistic and pleasure seekers. They like entertainment. They don't want families and kids. Whereas the other lot, the Muslim, they're having five or six or seven kids. Right, that's to just each wife and how many wives have they got? So we've got, we're up against it. We've got big problems. And that doesn't account for the amounts of whites that have sided with our enemies against us. And also the amounts of defective people about now. White people. Christ, there's some ugly buggers about walking up and down the high street. Our people are dying, literally dying from piss heads, smack heads, Prozac heads. Everything. Our people are literally dying. So we're in the 11th hour. We haven't got time to waste, let alone money. And this is what our enemies has got, uh, has got us doing. Sailing around the Mediterranean, Captain Pugwash style, achieving silge. Like I've said before, something is about to happen on the Mediterranean. Or something will happen that will make the movement... And that white nationalist movement defends Europe because that's what it's associated with. Look stupid, idiotic, mad, crazy, or some tragedy is going to happen. But something's going to happen. Trust me, just wait and see, right? I like I've said with Tommy Robinson and the Football Lads Alliance, marching up and down the high streets, no good. What's that going to achieve? Or Paul Joseph Watson doing a video on Rome and diversity. <laughs> and... What's that doing? Or Stefan Molyneux doing one on the Crusades? It's all nonsense. Oh, Millennial Woes doing one about some dysfunctional crackpot that sent him a letter or something. He has to uh, answer their problems on the internet. And the list is endless. Or Paul Golden marching around Telford, uh, Luton, or lately Rochdale, whatever. It's achieving nothing. 
And like I've said, all those on social media, all that's happening there is that's bouncing around the little nationalist playpen, right? It's not breaking out of it to the millions of people that we have to reach. Today, I was stuck once again in a, uh, what's the word for it? Like a bit of a traffic jam. There was roadworks on the East Lancashire Road. Christ, it's a nightmare, right? Sitting in them, tra in traffic, just sitting there on the, on anywhere is literally driving insane. These are problems, issues that our people face, I face every day, driving up that East Langs to get to the gym. One lane open there was again today. Now I know they've got to do repairs, but what I'm saying is that these are issues that are more important to our people than all the other aforementioned, someone talking about how Rome was 1500 years ago, diverse or undiverse or whatever it was, or Stephen Molyneux talking about the Crusades or Tommy Robinson's book. The public's not interested. And plus, like I've said, it stays within that circle. Who's applauding Defend Europe now? Only those within the movement. It's not breaking out of the movement. And our enemies know this only too well. Right? Our people now, right, they're only concerned about their immediate issues and tragedies they face of a day. Unemployment, housing, crime, uh, services. Uh, again, their child in a school of choice because they're now competing with the uh, migrant baby boom. The list is endless, all people face of a day, and they're more concerned about that. I'll give you a good example. The Manchester Arena bombing, that's forgotten about now, isn't it? Except for the, the, the families and the, their immediate relatives and whatever. It's forgotten about because it doesn't affect 99.9% .9 of the people. As terrible and tragic as it was, and I'm sure people shed plenty of tears, but the next day you've still got your bills to pay. You've still got to get on with your life and address your issues, concerns, worries, problems and tragedies. But we can address all people's worries, concerns, problems and tragedies. We can highlight that it's mass immigration that's burdening them. That's why you can't get on the tube, on the train in London, and if you do, you're like a sardine. Same on the bus, the same on the roads. Getting to places now that took 10 minutes to take an half an hour. There's that much traffic on the road. Trying to get a doctor's dentist appointment is, is hell. Waiting in that accident and emergency wards. Christ, you're there all day. There's too many people in the country and more coming in is going to burden our people even further. So they're only interested in themselves. Yes, of course they shed tears when bombs go off and people get killed. But it's temporary. It doesn't go over the tipping point as we need it to, right? That's what we need it to do. It doesn't go over because Britain's got talents and everything else stops the tipping point, like I said before. But what, what they face every day that doesn't go away are their own problems, concerns, worries and tragedies. And that's what we've got to address. But our enemies, I've got us sailing around the Mediterranean, watching Paul Joseph Watson, Stephen Molyneux, millennial woes. Following Tommy Robinson, the football lads and lines marching up and down the high street, reading books and all the rest. That has not taken us where we need to go. We need to reach the millions of people out there who couldn't give a toss about Paul Joseph Watson, Stephen Molyneux, your Millennial Woes, Tommy Robinson's book, Raheem Kassam's book, or defend your identitarians on the high streets of the Mediterranean. Do you get me? Okay, thank you.